Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at NanoSAM. So NanoSAM is an acronym for Nano Segment Anything Model. You would have recently seen that Meta AI has released SAM2. Earlier they had released SAM. Now they had released SAM2, Segment Anything Model 2. But I'm going to cover NanoSAM in this video. So NanoSAM is by nvidia and you can run this on cpu embedded devices like raspberry so on and so forth so you probably don't need a high-end gpu consumer gpus like even t4 on google collab so i'm going to show you on google collab that how you can do it okay on t4 one of the low low end gpus that collab provides the good thing about nano sam is that so understand this right sam segment anything model so sam basically uses an image encoder so it uses image encoder and then it uses mask decoder so first you pass an image so image so you start like this you have an image and then the image get through an encoder that's called image encoder now once image is passed through image encoder it gives you a tensor you know tensor values you know and then we pass those tensor values to mask decoder right now in this prompt and then it also has prompt encoder because it also you can uh, segment through prompt so when you pass a prompt the prompt encoder the tensor and the tensor again goes to mask decoder and in the end you get the segmentation that's how the architecture is very high level looks like i have a couple of videos on sam where i've explained this in details but i'm just giving you a high brief now nano sam you see this image encoder right now if you talk about sam the original sam model it uses vith so vision transformer right so vision transformer and h which which has around 600 plus i forgot the exact number it should be around 65 605 or something a million parameters so if you if your image encoder itself is like 600 million params you need at least 1.5 or 2x of that uh, vram to run it right on a fa for a faster speed when you when your latency is concerned now the nano sam by nvidia ai iot team they have created this nano sam and nano sam uses the image encoder of resnet 18 which is only 15 million parameters so we are cutting from 600 odd to 15 just imagine no, so that's when the 0 0.1 like even 0 0.1 percent you know uh, of, the, of the size right which is significantly lighter model and it uses the same uh, mask decoder as sam uses it's the only thing that we are making changes is the image encoder it changes the image encoder now nano sam if you look at here on my screen you know for talking right so nano sam here it says a distilled now distilled you have to understand the word guys if you are new in the space of ai distilled mean i have no i have churned out something from the large model so distilled like a student model or teach we call it teacher model the foundational model and when we fine tune we create these adapters using lora and so on and so forth then we distill the knowledge out of it now it says a distilled sam capable of running real time with nvidia tensor rt nvidia has created an unique architecture guys that's called tensor rt right now it, it you can also use tensor rt and you can also use onux runtime o double n x onux runtime so we're going to look at onux runtime this is how you can use by the way nano sam here you know you can follow this repository and i'm going to use a collab notebook now i'm going to use this image segment with bounding boxes i'm going to show you show you how you can try it out in collab and how you can build use cases so nano sam is now optimized let's jump into collab here now i'll just run this it takes gonna take some time here so let me just connect first so nano sam is optimized for operations on edge devices you know equipped with gpus such as uh, such as nvidia jetson you know so jetson orion series like that's powered by tensor rt and it's significantly faster than you know the real sam that that we have the original sam you know and if you want to do real time segmentations on edge devices then you should use nano sam rather than sam2 or sam whatever so i'm going to focus on this that and it also provides all these model files in onux runtime and i'm downloading it from here so i'm going to show you first let's go cd into nano sam 
and I can see we have CD into nano SAM. Let me just make this here. You can see nano SAM is here now. Now in nano SAM, I'm gonna install the Onux runtime library, you know, and I'm going to download the model files below. Uh, so let's just for it. Let's first it happens, and then one that then we're gonna do that. So if you have CPUs, if you don't have a GPUs, then probably you can also use you know uh, this will has because see the reason I'm doing it Onux runtime. Onux runtime supports CPU as well, you know, but the installations are a bit complex. So you have to go through this notebook to do it, right? And you can see this is done. Let's download the model files here. So I'm downloading the model frame from this drive. You know, it takes a bit of time to download, but I think we'll be good in few seconds. Hmm. Okay, then we were good. And then we go into this. Now, if you look at this here, right? Let me go into examples. Let me go into assets. Now, if you look at the assets, we're gonna look at this docs image. You have this docs JPG. Now, if you look at this docs JPG here, if you want to, you know, uh, basically segment this guy here, this uh, pit. Okay. If you want to segment this beautiful creature by, you know, nature. <laughs> by the way, if you want to, it's so cute. Now, you want to segment out this. Okay. So that's what we're gonna look at here. Okay. Now. We have downloaded the model thingy here. Now let's go inside. Okay, I'll just cut this. And you have Nano Sam here. Okay, now if you look at the models. Now if you look at the models here. Excuse me, this file that you see. And you have data set. So let me just expand. You have the Coco file. If you want to download the Coco data set, you can also do that. We have mobile Sam folder here within it. You, know, you can see automatic mask generator predictor blah 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 okay now we are good let's go back to uh, you can see now in the data we have two things we have something called resnet 18 image underscore encoder underscore onyx that's what we're going to use for the image encoder so you have the image you pass that image to this resnet 18 image encoder it creates the tensor values for those images uh, basically coming from your pixels you know from the frames and once you have that uh, tensors it then passes through a mask decoder and then the mask decoder basically masks it out that's how the flow is okay now let me just run this guy here okay and these are just imports, so we are good with the imports. Now here, what we are doing, we are pre-processing the image. So by default, 512 image, and then we are, you know, creating the NumPy. You can see np.nd array, pil. We are loading it. We are getting the mean and standard using the, and we have set these values over here, and then pretty much simple thing, resizing, pre-processing, guys. You know, this is the pre-processing function, and then resizing and returning the image tensor. So this basically gives us the image tensor. If you don't want to run it on CUDA, you can see disable transfer to CUDA device to support CPU runtime. That's what we are doing. You can see return image tensor.cuda. But if you don't want to do, do that, feel free to do it otherwise as well. Now this function runs the mask decoder. You can see mask decoder, it creates a session, features, points, and so on and so forth. So let me just run this here. Now here, we have ResNet 18 image encoder, mobile SAM mask decoder dot onux, and we are just getting this from this data folder that you see, right? If you look at this data folder, then we have in, in, initiating the onux runtime predictor from here and then passing the image, which is docs.jpg. You can put some other images as well over here if you want, right? In this folder, There's a lot of images, you know, if you want to pass it here. And then you have segment using bounding boxes. X, you can see the X, X axis, Y axis bounding boxes. And then we're just getting it over here. So if you run this, and by the way, guys, I'm running it on T4. And even on T4, it doesn't take more than five to 10 seconds. If you run it for the first time, it will take a bit of time. But when you're running it the next time, it don't take that much of time. And you can, you have the time profiling. You can see it over here. So now you can see this guy, okay, over here, <laughs> which is so cute. Now you can also calculate the prediction time for this. For the first time, it took a bit of time. No, so the prediction time and by the way we are on t4 guys anyway so the t4 you can see it says 121 milliseconds 29.8 millisecond per loop now seven runs and 10 loops each so now you're running it for it in iterations right that's also you have to keep in mind now how easy it is to use nano sam you know for these kind of segmentations you can do it on real time because only 15 mb of parameters for the image encoder so you can build a mobile application so you want to run it on embedded devices you can also do that 
So this is what, what I wanted to show you guys. I already have created video on SAM2, how to set up on run pod, how to run it uh, for segmentations. I have videos on SAM as well and different types of SAM. Okay, not only I think there was some segment diffusion as well. So those kind of videos. I'll give the links in description so you can also watch those videos to, to develop your understanding on SAM. If you have any questions, thoughts, feedbacks, do let me know in the comment box. I'll give you this reference notebook link uh, in the description as well. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.